Okay, so this is my sea level rise presentation. I don't know. Um, I'm going to show sea level rise and the causes. These two ices being the ice um, at the two poles, um, like Greenland and Antarctica, but they move around. And my two reading lamps are the sun and I have people because I don't have polar bears or other animals. Yeah. So I'm going to take pictures around every minute and just show how far sea level can rise because right now it's at that mark and later on it should be higher up. Yeah. Okay, I don't think you can see the water level very well right now, so I'm going to add some food coloring just so you can see it better. Okay, so right now it's a little higher than the mark previously and it should get higher as it continues. Okay, so now sea level is too high for the Lego people to stand up. So, like humans would, they would just build up in the water and... Okay, so... Humans would probably try to just build higher in the water, but I can't even build Lego so that they will stand up. So, humans will probably have to find an alternative way to, to get, to be better than sea level rise, or they'll end up like this. Oh, and also if humans try to build in the water, they would, or, or on land too, they would just make sea level go up even higher because they're building in the water. Okay, so going on 15 minutes now, this experiment is, yeah, but look, the glaciers or ice packs got way smaller and sea level rose, plus this lamp is really hot even for me to touch, and so is that one, so the water thermal expansion is kind of happening too. Okay, 20 minutes now and everything is just floating. It should be still, but the structure and the ice is just floating. And the sea level might have gone up some more. I wonder how hot the lamps are. Ow! Wow, that hurt. I'm not sure if thermal expansion will really take effect because since I'm using ice, the water must be like 40 degrees. So... Hopefully it does, and C will go up even higher. Well, yeah. Okay, at 30 minutes, the ice is almost too small to see. Well, it's in those two places now. And I can't tell how much sea level has gone up, but it probably still is. 
and can you even see the ice anymore? There's one piece, and where's the other? I think that's it. So they're getting pretty small, and it's been 36 minutes about. Okay, let me measure how high the water has gone up since I started. That black line is the is where it was before. And so Okay, it's at like the black line is at about one and a half um centimeters and the water is at around a little over two centimeters so i'd say the water in here has gone up about six millimeters since i started 39 minutes ago okay now the ice is all gone i don't see any more but the water is still really cold so I'll take a picture on every 10 minutes while the water heats up, and that should be thermal expansion. Okay, it's... 20, almost 28 minutes, well, no, I've already done this for 40, um, 68 minutes, and I just noticed that the red guy floated from there to there, so that's like continental drift, or, well, person drift, but I wasn't really watching, I was just amazed that that happened. Okay, this has been going for 95 minutes, and now I have to go to sleep. Uh, all the ice is melted, the water is semi-cold still, but it's slowly heating up, and I think the water must have rose a little more. Um, let me measure. Okay, well, now I've done 110 minutes, um, my mom went to sleep, and now I have to clean up. So, that's how far it rose since I started, and everything's just floating. The water probably won't get warm for the next hour, but I have to clean up. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. <coughs> Bye.